What's back on everybody, I'm DJ Sparkler aka Demo, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wipe by Battle. This time we have a team I built around Primarina, the water type starter of Alola. Now I don't care what anyone says, Primarina is probably my favorite Alola starter. Incineroar is okay, Decidueye is... eh. Primarina is where it's at. Trust me. Now this team consists of Primarina, Alola Marowak, Ferrothorn, Zapdos, Persian, and Zarga 10%. Now, Alolan Persian, despite what, me, what people might say about the, its design, it's actually not bad in battle. Its main draw is that it can parting shot, it's a fast parting shot loser, and um, it can taunt things that, that try to set up on leads, and um, it can be offensive with foul play. My opponent here leads off with his Zerk Tree, and um, seeing as I'm faster, I decided to parting shot out into um, my Alolan Marowak, because... Zerkatry can't do anything to, um, Marowak Alola, because of Lightning Rod, thankfully. Alola Marowak is really good at walling most electric types, which is very good for my Primarina team. Now, this, unfortunately, my, um, opponent goes for Hypnosis, which puts me to sleep, unfortunately. Now, Hypnosis Zerkatry is actually pretty common if it's used with a Z-Crystal, he didn't activate his, I guess because he didn't want to waste it, because... He knew a Marowak would come in, but unfortunately I'm put to sleep here, and his Snorlax comes out. His Snorlax comes out, speaking of demo. And, um, my team is not very well equipped to, qu to um, deal with Curse Lax. Um, well, you'll see right here. I do have my physically defensive Zapdos with the Rocky Helmet to, and um, pressure to, um, kind of um, waste this guy's PP to, um, get rid of all his attacks, basically. So... And I guess, um, I just wanted to talk to right here because any chip damage is really good on this thing. And, um, I'm not really the best counter for, um, for Curselax right here because he does have the Body Slam, which does a lot of damage to me at plus two. It's like, at least half? Almost half. But thankfully, I do have the Rocky Helmet residual damage going on. And, um, I don't really want to stay in with my Zapdos here, so I go right in into my, um, Ferrothorn. Now this thing could have crunch, and which is why I didn't want to stay in with my Marowak, and yeah, that would be that would have been a bad news. Plus, plus I can't really hit it with anything. The best I could hit it with is Bumerang, and that's not stab, so it's not going to do much. It's immune to Shadow Bone, and I'm assuming if it has thick fat, it technically resists fire. And Snorlax goes, does go for rest here, which is a pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure this goes on for like half of the battle, which is annoying, very annoying. Very freaking annoying. I do got my my um, Stealth Rocks right here because looking at his team, he doesn't have any ways of getting rid of it. Unless he's having, um, he's running a Defog Element, which I actually do have. It's pretty interesting. I might want to try using that sometime soon. But I do get the, uh, the um, Lead Seed right here, which does even more damage. And yeah, um, thank unfortunately, because of his rest, he does avoid the toxic, the toxic damage, which... Is um pretty bad, but thanks to the rest, he is guaranteed two turns of sleep, which does give me opportunity to set up. So I go right back out of my Zapdos to um get off a Roost, which will heal off all the damage he did to me. But um my opponent is unfortunately one step ahead of me. As you'll see right here, it's um I don't really like what he does right here. It's not a very um well, it's good for him, but not good for me, which is why I don't approve of it. But um. Yeah, I roost up all my damage, he wakes up, and, um, look what he goes for. Z Body Slam, which, at plus two, is gonna KO my Zapdos, unfortunately, like... Oh my goodness, well, at least this meant he he wasn't, um... He wasn't running, um, Leftovers or Chesto Berry for his rest, which... I guess was unfortunate, was fortunate for me. And I guess, um, Zapdos wasn't entirely useful on my team. I guess because um, well, it didn't really help anything on my team on my opponent's team. So yeah, I'm forced to go right back into um my Ferrothorn right here as it's, it re it does resist um the Body Slam, but it still could have Crunch, still could have Crunch, which hits me for neutral damage and will do a lot with all these curses. <sighs> what but what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to um get him to go for rest, which guarantees me two turns of whatever I want to do. And I'm pretty sure that with Choice Specs, which is what I'm running on my Primarina, we'll break through this, um, this freaking 
Snorlax. I'm guessing he's running careful max HP, max special defense, which is what all Kursalax run. So, yeah, I do get up the par paralysis to um encourage him to go for rest again. And um I do go for the gyro ball, which isn't gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything because of all these curses. He does have the crunch, which is unfortunate. Well, I unfortunate for him in a way because he doesn't have sleep talk. And, well, I don't know. If we did have Sleep Talk, then he wouldn't have anything to just my memory. I don't know. I don't know, man. This Curse Lack is annoying. This thing is annoying, man. But he does, thankfully, because of his so low HP, he does go for the rest right here. And um, I should have predicted that, to be honest. I do go for the Gyro Ball like a fool. But he does go for rest. But it doesn't really matter because I can thankfully come in with my Pre Marina right here and proceed to chip away at max power. Max power. Uh, Snorlax is pretty specially defensive with, um, all this HP and, and special defense investment, but, mm, you know, I'm, I'm not really, um, too worried about that. Primarina is actually really strong. I'm, I'm sad that people underestimate it so much, because, um, of its design, basically, because people hate Spopolio so much, and people still do hate Primarina, and all of a sudden, oh my god, they love Decidueye so much, but Decidueye sucks, man. I'm, I mean, that was kind of out of line, but... Decision West sucks, Primarin is better. Screw you, it's my opinion. But, Specs Moonblast is enough to 2 hit KO this thing, which is great, because... This Snorlax has taken up half the battle, and this is this is just enough. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this goddamn Cursax trying to... Be a man trying to set up and stall. Well, I guess it's technically not stall, it's just tanking. I, I don't know, I don't know. They're two different things, but... Thankfully, this thing is dead now. Oh, Specs Primarina. And this thing... Um, my opponent doesn't really have too many answers for um, Primarina. He does have the Zerg Tree, which does force me out into my Marowak again. And, you know... Um, it didn't really hit me before that um, what the Zerg Tree really was. Um, he goes for Discharge again. And he goes for Discharge, um, not expecting the switch in. And, um, then he goes for Power Whip, which, um, it hurts me, at this point, that this is an in-game circuitry. I don't know why he has it when everything else on his team is, like, standard, but I don't know. Maybe he was just rushing to get his team done and he just didn't, just didn't want to train the circuitry. I don't know. I do expect him to switch out into, um, like something like the Garchomp or the Salamence, but... So I go for the Willowbus to try to burn them on, on the switching, but... He stays in, I'm guessing just to try to sack this thing off, but he lands at another hypnosis. This is great. This is just great, and meanwhile, while I can't li land a frickin' fire blast to save my life, he lands two hypnosis, which is just, I'm, I'm done. He does go out into the um, incineroar uh, right here on my, on my, um, while I'm asleep, and um, this thing um, kind of threatens me. I do expect him to go into like something like the um, Garchomp, so I got added into the Ferrothorn, but yeah, he caught my switch in. Pretty nice, I might add. So, Persian does w resist the um, Dark type stab, but he goes for Cross Chop, and oh my god, this Incineroar is freaking predicting me! Stop! He can go for um, Cross Chop again, but thankfully, thankfully, because of the Fur Coat ability, I'm able to tank that not really well. And I'm ready to build a parting shot right into Pre Marina, which does, um, threaten this thing. I don't really think it has anything to hit me with. Um, the best Incineroar has is Earthquake. I don't think it gets Poison Jab. He, he does miss the, um, Cross Chop, which is unfortunate for him, but he goes right in, into the, um, Metagross, but I don't really care. I don't care. Even when, even when it resists Moonblast, Specs Primarina does a lot anyway. Look at this. Look at this damage. That's almost over half. Look at that. Well, that was because of the Stealth Rocks, but Still, that's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Ferrothorn Maul's this thing, assuming it doesn't have um, Hammer Arm. And I was expecting it to Mega Evolve, but I guess it isn't Mega. I guess. Maybe he just. Maybe he was just a hipster and didn't like Mega Evolution. I don't know, those people are kind of rare these days, but. Eh. eh I don't know. He's, um. Well, assuming he wasn't running any any Megas on this team, or what I was really hoping for not to be was the um, 
It sounds meant to be mega. And, um, this is a passerby I ran into. And, um, you know, um, passerby using Ubers is, um, pretty common. Pretty common. I do set the lead seed to, um, so we get some HP recovery. And he does have the hammer arm, which thankfully doesn't, doesn't, um, too it me. Just because it's not mega. Yeah. Physically defensive Ferrothorn coming in clutch right here. Mm hmm. And he does withdraw the, um, Metagross back out into the Incineroar. Which, um, is okay, I guess. You know, I don't really care. The Stealth Rocks does do a lot of damage. And I think it just might be the, um, HP bar, but it generally looks like... It genuinely looks like, um, Stealth Rocks does more damage this gen, but I know that's not the case. It just looks like that because of the HP bar. I do decide to, um, sack off my Marowak right here because since the, since the Zerg Tree is in-game, I don't really think I have to worry about it. He goes with the Darkest Larius, I live it, and I wake up, and I hit a Boomerang, which chaos this thing. And, um, thankfully, because the thing was just predicting me so much. Oh, man. I don't know, maybe his team was just in-game, which is why... Maybe he just didn't get the Mega Ring yet. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe this guy's team is in-game, but he still... He still plays pretty well for, like, it being an in-game team. I mean, the team may not be the best constructed, but he plays nice. Like I said before, I do tend to sack off my, um, Marowak, so... Yep, down you go. Sorry, Hinawa. I did still have the, my Zygarde for the, um, Zerg Tree. And speaking of which, nothing really takes an outrage. I believe the Metagross is, um, low enough to where it would KO. And, um, thankfully an outrage is enough to, um, KO right here. I am Life Orb. It will KO. How many times do I gotta say that? It will KO, damn it! So, the only thing really stopping me is the, um, Garchomp, assuming if it's Choice Scarf, because I am naturally faster than it. Um... Yeah, fortunately for me, it is an actual scarf, which I'm guessing he just wanted to get rock off um um rough skin damage, maybe. I'm not really I'm not really sure. This is the part where he um basically loses. The game's pretty much over at this point. Z the guard shop does go down. Zygarde pretty much one v ones his whole team anyway. But um unfortunately I do get the um two turn outrage and get the confusion, which sucks. Yeah, yeah, the outrage would have killed um Metagross, especially with the Rox damage. But I don't wanna risk um I don't wanna risk the game with thanks to um hitting myself in confusion, which I don't think would have mattered because I still have the Ferrothorn. And um thanks to Iron Barbs, he does go for the bullet punch, and um yeah, thanks to Iron Barbs, he does go down to the to his own damage right here. And all he has left is the Zerg Tree, which can't do anything to me. It is end game, it is burned, um Power of Pig isn't gonna do much because of the burn. Like, I think, um, Zirkatree's in-game stat, well, not in-game stats, just stats in general are, like, um, like, just 80, and special attack is, like, over, like, 100. Like, I, I think it's, like, 170, I don't know. He has tried to fight it and go for the, um, Hypnosis, with, but he does eventually end up forfeiting here because, yeah, he can't do anything. I do have Ferrothorn, which walls this thing for days. I do have, um, Zygarde, which, um, you know, does also wall this thing. I don't even think it would have KO'd Primarina. I think maybe. I don't know. Assuming this thing really wasn't invested in anything. In, like in any special attack. I don't know. I don't even know if this thing has a good nature. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this guy. I didn't ask him or anything. I don't know. He, he was just a pass by, like I just bit, like I just said, and battled. Just the hell, because... Eh, sometimes you gotta look for passerby battles. I don't know. It's just annoying. But, he does forfeit this turn, and that is a win for me, so, yeah, this team, um, you know, I do end up getting better games with this team, thankfully, because I don't want to have to rely on passive battles to get my Wi-Fi battles for this YouTube thing for. It's hard, this gen, it's hard getting battles this gen, thanks to the freaking Festival Plaza, I don't know. But, I don't understand why he had a random in-game circuitry, the rest of his team was, um, pretty fine, but I don't get it. Maybe this team was just thrown together quickly, and I don't know. But if you like my team and want to try it out for yourself, it will be in the description below. And if you want to see more Battles of Vine or other content in general, be sure to click like, comment, or even subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.